Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Kazoo Fridays today. Now, back in April, I had done a video and it was titled uh, Make a DIY Kazoo from Household Materials or something like that. And I made this right here. And that was a pretty popular video. A lot of people commented on it, liked it, got a fair amount of views, so thank you for that. But I did get a couple of folks in the comments that had said, you know, things like cigarette papers and PVC pipes are not really household materials. And that's fair feedback. But the point was, I was not saying that you had to use the exact same stuff that I used, it was just an idea. So you could use a cardboard tube or a bamboo tube or whatever you had on hand. It doesn't have to be PVC. And then also, I even mentioned in the video, there's no reason you have to use a cigarette paper, that's just what I chose to use. And in fact, I did a whole nother video in the Kazoo Friday series where I talked about different things you can use for improvised reads and what they sound like. So, you know, it was just kind of supposed to be a concept, but but still, that's fair feedback. So I went out there and did some searching and found out that there are these things called craft kazoos that are often made at like Boy Scout, Girl Scout kind of things and whatnot. So let's look at what you need. So first of all, you're gonna need one tool to do this. You're gonna need a scissors. Uh, you know, I've got a, a like a sewing scissors here, but pretty much any scissors will work. You're gonna need a drinking straw. And this one happens to be a neon orange drinking straw, but any drinking straw more or less will work. You're gonna need a pair of popsicle sticks. Now these are the larger popsicle sticks that have the six inch length, five eighths inch width, but there are smaller ones and either size should work. It really shouldn't matter. You just need a couple of popsicle sticks. And you're going to need three rubber bands. So as you can probably see, just visually, this one is thicker and larger. Um, and then a couple of these are smaller. Now I sized them just because rubber bands do have sizes and some people get very caught up on sizes. This is a number 64 rubber band and these two are number 16 rubber bands. But basically you need a thicker rubber band and two smaller rubber bands. I'm not married to these being the exact sizes, but something like that. First things first, we're gonna grab our drinking straw and our scissors. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut two pieces off of this drinking straw that are about an inch long. So I'm gonna cut this here, bam. There's my first piece. Cut another one about the same length. Doesn't have to be exact, but about that long. We'll make a cut there. All right, next thing you wanna do is take one of your popsicle sticks and take your larger rubber band. Again, this is a 64 and go ahead and put that around the popsicle stick like so. Okay, so now that you've got your rubber band around your popsicle stick, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of the little pieces of straw that you cut here, and you're gonna put it between the rubber band and the stick, and it doesn't matter which side of the rubber band you do it on, but what you wanna do is you wanna put it maybe about, I don't know, about three quarters of an inch from the end, so it looks something like that, okay? And you're gonna take your other piece of straw and put it in about the same location, but you want it over the rubber band. So now I'm just holding that in place because if I let go, of course, it's gonna, the, the straw is gonna fall. And take your other popsicle stick and just set it on top like that. So what you've got now, let me hold it up here, is you've got kind of a straw popsicle stick sandwich there, okay? And again, I'm holding it in place because if I let go, it's all gonna fall apart. Now take your two smaller rubber bands and you're gonna kind of slide them up against each of the straws here and loop them a couple of times. Okay, so there's one side, you can, so you can see I looped that like you know three or four times around there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And keep in mind, you're gonna have to hold this all together while you're doing this because uh, if you let go, everything's gonna kind of fall apart. Okay, so when you're done, you should end up with something that looks kind of like this. So basically you've got like the two pieces of straw sort of sandwiched between the two popsicle sticks. Uh, with the rubber bands on both ends kind of holding the whole thing together and then the heavier rubber band going over one and under the other and supposedly if you blow through this you should get a kazoo like sound so let's give it a shot vaguely reminiscent of a kazoo I mean, to be honest, guys, that's probably the lamest kazoo I've ever gone over here on Kazoo Fridays, but um, it is homemade, it is crafty, and kids might still have fun with it, so there you go. That's what it's like to make a popsicle stick kazoo, and quite honestly, this will probably never be seen in another one of my videos. 
So, you know, that is what it is. But thanks for tuning in to Kazoo Fridays. Um, if you have not checked out the playlist, please do that. There's a link in the description. Probably one of the largest collections of Kazoo videos on YouTube. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys soon.